Hey, it's Matt here from Mortgage Choice, coming to you today on location at Mullaney Springs Farm. Just before one of our brokers, Bryce, gets hitched. Good luck, mate. Today I want to talk about credit cards and how they might affect your home loan application. What a lot of people don't understand about credit cards is that even though you might not use them or might not owe a whole amount on that card, the banks still take into consideration the full limit when they're assessing your affordability. In general, what it means, they take about 4% of the credit card limit and take that off your income every month. For example, if you have a $20,000 credit card, the bank will take off you $800 a month from your income. This means that could have an effect of around $100,000 to $130,000 in less borrowings, which makes a substantial impact when you're trying to maximize your borrowing capacity. The key thing to make sure of before applying for loans is that you don't have an unnecessary amount of limits. My rule of thumb is to work out what the monthly spend is on the credit card, times by two, because you're not gonna pay the credit card off again before the next month start, and then make sure that you have reduced your credit card limits before you apply for any finance. Obviously paying credit cards off in full every month is advantageous as you'll pay less interest or no interest at all, but make sure that you are at least making your minimum repayments because the banks are very critical on the conduct of credit cards when assessing your application for finance. Now credit cards aren't all bad. They've got great features like earning points, some have complimentary insurance, purchase protection, that sort of thing. That's how we're staying here at this property. We've used points to pay for it. So there are definitely benefits from having credit cards as long as they're maintained and used properly. That's it for me today. Now we're off to see the lovely bride, Alice, walk down the aisle.